that is okay? Ah, that is for good luck. Good luck, right? Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we are a little damp. We just ran into an early morning shower. But the sun out is out, nowhere. came out of nowhere. But we're just walking around like the central area and it's really beautiful here. So even though Candy is a big city, the UNESCO center is kind of small. And it's like nice to walk around. They have the old colonial buildings. Yeah. Very beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's a little bit hectic as you can probably hear, but not terribly hectic, right? Yeah. It's very nice. And we have a funny story to tell because they have the funniest pickup line here. Yeah, so there are a lot of touts that are like, People trying to sell guide services, yeah, tuk -tuk. but they say they recognize us from YouTube. They're like, oh, we know you from YouTube, which is impossible because we haven't posted videos from Sri Lanka yet, unless and they watch know, Malaysia like, videos. Need, so. Yeah, <laughs> not yet. At least ten people have stopped us with exactly the same line, and it's funny, but you should know that the tuk tuks for like four or five hours they cost, sorry, like uh, two thousand or something. Yeah, two thousand rupees. They, they show take you around. around. They're all super nice. That's not what we're doing and today. Two thousand rupees nice. is like seven dollars. So yeah. if you're in Candy. Think about it, yeah. it's a good offer. Yeah, they're also nice and they, they show us like their reviews and yeah. very nice. So you should do it. But now we're gonna keep walking around this beautiful lake. Even though the city center is kind of hectic, there is this really beautiful lake and you can walk around it. There's a really nice pathway and it's actually very peaceful here because it's right next to the most famous temple in the city. So if you need a break from all the hecticness, come here, take a walk. We're taking a break right now, enjoying the beautiful setting. It's really pretty here because where we're going next is very hectic, probably the most hectic place in the city. If you know us, you know exactly where we're going next. You guessed it, we made it to the local market. So this is Candy's Municipal Market, but this time we're not just browsing. I have some things to buy, because you won't believe it, but this is what I lost or tore in the last two weeks. I lost my beloved hat that I usually wear every day. I lost my sunglasses because I left them on the tuk-tuk and drove away. I lost my sandals because they fell out of the tuk-tuk and I didn't realize. I ripped a shirt, I ripped my favorite shorts, I might have ripped pants. Our lens on our camera is cracked. It's been a rough two weeks. When it rains, it pours. Let's go look for a hat. So it looks like we're in the wet market section of the market, so no clothes or sandals yet. But a ton of interesting smells. We got some dried fish here, and that smell really reminds me of Portugal. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if the Portuguese brought it here or vice versa, but that smell is everywhere. Keep going in. <laughs> Everyone's very nice. <laughs> Hello, very good. How are you? Hello, bike. We have been in a lot of markets. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> this place is awesome, and I lost you too. I wish I was buying stuff for cooking, honestly. This place is amazing. Hey. I see hats. Do you have one from Sri Lanka with a flag? Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> He's a <that> smart. <laughs> uh, from the US? Yes. Yeah. Is it big? It's, kind of it's, it's small. It's small, right? Yeah. This is in fit, guys. Thank you. Okay, yeah. thanks, guys. Yeah, go look. You want a cap? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, baseball hat. Come. Big one. You have? Big one, Big one yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so I think the problem is that the top of my head is taller than the locals' top of their head. Because <laughs> it fits around fine with the strap, obviously. I don't have like a watermelon head. <laughs> but like here, <laughs> it doesn't go all the way down. And then my hair pops out like a schoolboy. <laughs> 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 
still on the hunt. Everyone's super nice. Yeah. It's really cool to shop here. Compared to the other ones, that one does go a lot lower. Okay, 1,100. 1,100. You got 100 rupees out. That's how you bargain, people. <laughs> he knows I'm desperate for a hat. Do they look cool? Okay. Deal. Okay. So no 12? No. Oh. Size 10 is the biggest. I still feel pretty proud that I got a hat. Yeah. This is what I needed most. I'll also have to say that my shoes got rained on and they smell. Yeah, That's guys. why I really wanted sandals. <laughs> it's been tough. It's been tough. I would say. Good luck. Ah, that is for cool. good luck. Good luck, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this just happened. 30 seconds in. It's a good thing I got a hat. Otherwise, I would have gotten shot on. Let's move up. Let's move from here. I cannot believe this. You so, so guy just said it was good luck. If I touch here, will I get shit on my fingers? No, you're going to take it off and see it yourself. This is the worst. At least it was a clean drop. Well, I'd rather, I, I'm happy I bought a hat and didn't get crap on my head. This was perfect. Look at this beautiful lunch that we have in front of us. Get some freshly fried papadam, curry chicken, rice, green peas, maybe a curry, dal, some kind of vegetable, I don't know what it is. This is the first time I'm gonna eat with my hands in Sri Lanka. You're supposed to, but I kind of forgot about it. I practiced in Malaysia, now it's time to get back into it. Mm. <laughs> it does taste better with the hands. I'm very good at mixing, but I have bitten myself at least five times. I really don't know how to do this. I have to practice more. Obviously. Can we get the white ones? They're very nice. Okay, one. Yeah, let me let me take a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Look how pretty. We're going to one of the most sacred places in all of Sri Lanka. So we're buying white flowers for offerings to show some respect. I don't know what to do with them, but we'll see what other people do and we'll figure it out. We're about to enter the famous Temple of the Tooth. This is one of the most important Buddhist temples in the world, and both men and women have to cover up. So it's a good thing I have my sarong to cover my legs. You have to cover your shoulders as well, but we're good with that. The only thing I forgot was wearing white today. It's like Superman. <laughs> Do you remember? Do I remember? I'm basically Sri Lankan. Of course I remember. Tan -tan. Transformation is complete. So part of the reason that Kandy is known as a sacred city is of course because of all the religious monuments and this very holy temple, the Temple of the Tooth, but also directly behind me is the old, I guess, palace of the Kingdom of Kandy. So when the Portuguese came in the 15 or 1600s, Sri Lanka was ruled by different monarchies and one of the most important was the Kingdom of Kandy. And they did a great job of expelling the Portuguese from coming into the center of the country and imposing Roman Catholic religion to the country. So they maintained Sinhalese culture and for that reason, it's also a very sacred place. We're still walking around with our flowers. It's been like an hour and a half. Don't know what to do. <laughs> awesome. 
ways to leave the flowers. We did it. We chose that spot because it was kind of empty. No, it's just nice. That was so cool. Like, it was so... I don't know, holy hell, there was some energy there we just entered a room where people were like praying and singing and there was an energy there, right? There was... Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. How's this for a new look in the back of the Tuk Tuk? This is a lot of fun. I kind of envy your position in the back of the Tuk Tuk. There's so much to observe. But... We've been keeping a secret from you. He has been in the back of the tuk tuk party. You'll see why. Oh, that sounds sketchy. Why? You'll see <laughs> in the last in the last video of Sri Lanka. Right now we're heading to Ayurvedic massage therapy. You guys, I go get our chakras cleaned. <laughs> you know, we like to show you guys some unique things to do, and this should be very weird, but also very nice. And we can't wait. Hey. To show you. I think we can film, so. Hello, how are you? Shoes, okay. You brought shoes here? Are we good? Yeah, it's all good. We're very excited. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ah, it smells good in here. Thank you. <laughs> Got the incense going, relaxing music. I'm very excited for this. The basic program, uh, full body massage. Mm -hmm. They include the head, neck, shoulder, all body. I do the oil massage this time in one hour. It's very relaxing, you know. Okay. It's the name Shirodara. Shirodara. Shirodara, very special, actually treatment, very sleepy treatment. Okay. Very <laughs> relaxing. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? That was the most relaxing experience of my life. <laughs> That's crazy. It's amazing when you relax, okay? Yeah, very relaxed. I felt like I was floating. It looked amazing. It was the craziest thing. I was drooling the whole time. Like my body detached from my head, and all I could feel was. Like... And I thought I was gonna fall asleep, but I fought it a few times. I thought you did. I might have. <laughs> but I was self-conscious because I can't breathe through my nose right now, and I didn't want to start snoring. <laughs> That's crazy, I don't know. Like seriously, like your whole, your head is the only thing you feel. That's the craziest thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know how to happen. You'll see. Yeah. yeah. Hot is okay? Yeah, it's okay. Fire. And then, also, the standard with some leaves. Natural herbs. Yes. 